Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Blackburn here and I'm here to tell you a little bit about plan B for this week. So they are going to be called choice boards. So I think you're going to be rather happy with the assignments for the, this week. Students have shorter assignments and can choose between three activities in each course. This is going to be happening beginning April 20th through, through April 24th. And here's what a choice board looks like. You can see there are three columns. There's a reading column, a math column, a science column, and a fine arts and PE column. And the directions say that you are to choose at least one activity from each column this week. So you'll choose, you'll look at the reading column as it goes down, and you'll look at all the different activities there. There's three to choose from, and all you have to do is pick one to do for the week. Then you'll go over to the math column going down, and you'll look at the three different activities, and you will complete one of those for the week. And the same for science, fine arts, and PE. Now, if you'd like to do more than one of those activities, you are more than welcome to do so. But you only have to complete one activity for each subject um, in each column. I think you're really going to enjoy those as well. I know I looked at the reading ones and they looked like a lot of fun. Uh, there are some fun video links to do things with. There's even a Kahoot game that you can play with your family. So boys and girls, I think you're really going to be happy with the activities for this week. Now, how do you submit your assignments? This is the second page that goes with this and uh, submitting your answers. You can print this off and you can answer directly on the paper. You can not print it off and you can just take a piece of paper and answer on your own piece of paper and then take a picture and upload it directly into um, Schoology and send it to me through Messenger, through the Messenger on Schoology. You can take a picture and send it to me as an attachment and an email. Another option it says is to um, send it to as a text into Google Voice. Um, I don't have the Google Voice, so that would not be a way that you could submit it to me. So just ignore that when you see it at the bottom of the sheet. Um, and if you choose to print it off and um, you want to drop it off at school, there will be a drop box at school where you can drop it off at school that way. So those are your different options for submitting your answers. Okay, so where are these choice boards? How will you get to them? When you log into Schoology, you'll go to your courses. Now, we you have a homeroom course. You have all year long, and I know some of you have kind of poked around or been in there before, and some of you may never have looked in there before. Well, you're going to have another homeroom course now. So this is going to be a new one. It's going to look a little different. So in this homeroom course, you're going to see where it says choice boards. You're also going to see where there is a folder that says read alouds. So the only thing that will be in there are the choice boards and the read alouds. So when you get into the course that says homeroom, you'll know you're in the right one when you only see those materials. Our other homeroom course has lots of things in it from reading and language that we had completed this year. So if you see all those other things that we did this year and information like welcome to fifth grade and those kinds of things, you know, you'll know you're in the wrong one, especially if you're looking for choice boards and you don't see any. So you'll know you're in the incorrect homeroom course. Okay, so how will we be grading these? Well, once we get them back, which they do have to sit for a couple of days if you do put them in the Dropbox, if you just complete them directly on Schoology, um, I will be checking um, every day to see um, what comes in. And if you completed them and you did a good job, you will be receiving an M, when M stands for mastery. An I is incomplete if you maybe did, um, 
maybe you didn't do the assignment completely, or maybe you just didn't do it. Uh, that would be an incomplete. Not yet met may, means that you did not meet the goal. You did not meet the standard and um, for the assignment. So those are the grades that you'll be receiving. And um, those will also be what you'll see on your report card when you get your report card coming up here soon. And um, those you'll be receiving in the mail. Those will be mailed out to you for the fifth term. Um, but this, this packet, this uh, choice board will be the grades that will go for the sixth grading period. So if you have any more questions about that, please feel free to ask me. Also, um, you will be checking, um, you will be checking, uh, you'll be checking Skyward, not Schoology for your grades. Um, and also within that homeroom course, like I, I just mentioned, there will be pre-recorded stories that are read aloud to you in the homeroom course, that new homeroom course I told you about. All the teachers at Williams Ledger have um, are recording read alouds. So when I'm going to be putting those in the homeroom course, so I will be finishing up Edward Tulane and I will have those recorded and I ha will have those uploaded so you can listen to the rest of Edward Tulane. We only had a few more chapters. Um, I also recorded uh, myself reading The Sweetest Fig. So I put that in the folder. And then I will also be inserting um, different stories read aloud from all the teachers from kindergarten through um, fifth grade. So um, that's something else that you can look forward to hearing some stories being read aloud to you. Okay, so, you know, learning should be fun. Um, and I hope this makes um, learning more fun for you. I know it's been challenging for me as a teacher and you as a student and parents. I know it's been challenging for you too. So um, I'm very proud of all of you and the hard work you're, you're, that you've done. I do believe that um, this will be a more enjoyable way for you to learn this next coming week. And again, parents and students will need to check Skyward, not Schoology, for the grades that the students have earned on their work. And it, I, you have all been so inspiring. The parents that have worked so hard um, to contact me and get information. And um, I've worked really hard to set up some conference calls. Um, some of you, we've talked on the phone. We've done video conferencing. We have... Um, you know, uh, sent lots of messages all throughout the day, in the morning, in the evening, and emails. Um, keep up the good work. You're very inspiring. I'm very proud of all the hard work parents and students that you're doing. So again, if you want to contact me, the fastest way to do that is to send me a Schoology message or an email. My email is blackburng at ccisd.com. Um, and if you are still struggling and you're feeling frustrated, um, I would be happy to set up a video conference call with you and so that we can see each other face to face. Um, I know Jalea and I had um, some fun playing hangman the other day. It was just good to see her face and to talk with her. So um, that's possible too. I miss you all so much and um, stay well, be healthy. If you need anything at all, please feel free to reach out and um, send me a message and um, or give me a call. Miss you all. Mwah.